it's a great way to hide your little black dress. The surprise! <laughs> My little black dress is in there. Hi everyone, welcome to Wendy's Lookbook. And today, we're going to play with the classic trench coat. Here she is. You know, I always wonder why the trench coat was designed this way. So I did a little research and found out that during its early days, it was associated with military wear. Mainly soldiers wore it during the war because it's made to endure harsh weather. And the design hasn't really changed much. Back then, there were 10 button closures and it still exists to this day. And it has shoulder straps with button closures, pockets with button closures, and what I find really interesting is this little guy, the storm flap. You know, when the coat is closed and during harsh rain, what it does is that it protects the water from seeping into the coat. So this is the classic design, but nowadays, you know, lots of brands and designers have reinterpreted the trench coat. And what I have here is a hybrid trench. Now, it shares some similarities to our other one, mainly because it is made of you know, heavy-duty cotton material and also has shoulder straps with button closures. But unlike the other one with the 10 buttons in front, this one has a zipper closure. And the other one is more of a straight silhouette. This is designed with a curvy flare silhouette. No, but I think that the trench is such a worthy investment, mainly because it's so versatile. You can pair it with casual wear or more dressier occasions. But today, we're going to do four pairings total, two of each, so let's get started. This is our first pairing, and we're just creating an effortless look with our trench coat. It has like a Parisian flair. And when Mystery Man and I were in Paris, I saw so many beautiful women there wearing their trench coats with just striped tops and a simple bottom. So we're recreating this look with this pairing. And what I have is my trench coat with a vertical striped blouse that also helps elongate me, giving me more of a taller look, and simple jeans. I have black pumps with me, but you can change that up to black flat and it works equally well. Now, even though the trench coat has more of a straight silhouette, what I do is I belt the back so to give me more of a fitted waistline. This outfit's great for Paris, of course, uh, with brunch in Paris, or you know, anywhere that you wanna feel comfortable and just casual. This is our second look, the dresser pairing with our trench coat. Now, I'm pairing it with a little black dress. Sometimes, to me, a little black dress can be a tad bit plain. So what I'm doing is spicing it up with a studded belt to give it texture, and just interest. And it also helps slim my waistline. Because the outfit has a neutral tone, beige and black, I want to add prints to it somewhere. So we're doing it with our shoes, adding spotted pumps. This outfit's great for you know, those spring nights or summer nights when the temperature is not cold enough for a heavy wool coat, but it's still breezy and windy. So the trench coat is the perfect ingredient to keep us warm and comfortable. For this look, I'm playing with layers to help mimic the shape of our coat. So I'm layering a crop top over a silk blouse Here's a better look of what's inside. What I'm doing is I'm layering a striped turtleneck over a silk blouse. And because the crop top hugs right here, it creates a natural flare with our blouse. Adding our coat back on, it's a flare within a flare. <laughs> this outfit is a black and white outfit, so I wanted to add a dash of color by pairing it with red pumps. It's perfect for creative meetings or lunch dates, anywhere that you want to be casual chic. And this is our last pairing, and it's a dressier look with our black trench coat. And before I put the trench coat on, I wanted to share a styling tip with you. For me, because of my frame, when I wear flare dresses, the flare portion has to sit at the smallest part of my waist, or else it actually pulls my body down, making me look shorter. The smallest part of my waist is, I'm feeling it, right? <laughs> is here. And the skirt starts about two inches below that. So what I'm gonna do is create the illusion of it being higher. And I have a home remedy that helps that issue, which is a wide belt. 
If you read my blog, you've probably seen this belt a million times. It's basically a wide corset belt. But what it does is that it cinches just the right area and also has like a flare to not restrict the full skirt. So it gives it more movement. And I'm gonna add it on at the smallest point on my waist. Okay, so Mr. Man has to help me with this one. <laughs> and voila! It cinches my waist and it also gives the illusion that the skirt line is higher. So it's a win-win on both ends. And here is the completed look, the trench coat over the flare dress. And for color, one of my all-time favorite pairings is neon green with magenta. It's complementary color, it's on the opposite side of the color wheel. So it just works harmoniously together. So we have magenta pumps on the bottom to help match and pair with the spotted neon green that you see on the dress. This outfit's great for date night, it's great for cocktail events, visiting the museum, anywhere where we want to get a little dressed up. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our trench pairings. And when it comes to purchasing a trench, I really look for a heavy duty material and fabric. Make sure you feel it and make sure that it's substantial so that it really protects you from the rain. I hope you like the double flare pairings. Please let me know what you want to see in future pairing episodes. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon on YouTube land. Bye!